What is up guys, it's your boy Steady Chaos. Thank you for stopping by Steady Chaos Production. So it's been a few days since I've updated my channel here on YouTube. So I wanted to get a quick video out today because there's been a big development with the LG C9 and C10 televisions, particularly the LG C10, which is what I use. So if you are like many people out there, not like me, I have been unable to find an RTX 3080 card or 3090 card anywhere. Not that I'm certain I'm gonna buy one anyway, but they're pretty much out of stock everywhere. However, if you are one of the lucky few that has gotten one of these cards and you have an LG C10, then you've had compatibility issues. You've had issues with G-Sync, um, the card just crashing, G-Sync not working uh, properly on your LG C10 or B10, whatever, G G10, whatever model you have, basically the 2020 OLED line. You've also had issues with running chroma subsampling at 4K 120 hertz at 444 chroma. For whatever reason, the C10 was not running full chroma, it was running 422 anytime you tried to run 4K 120. And a lot of people were upset because the LG C10 is supposed to be the ultimate gaming TV. It does have 40 gigabits per second bandwidth on an HDMI 2.1 port on its side there. So it's supposed to be able to do, at least on paper, 4K 120 chroma 444 with high dynamic range. And it just wasn't doing that. It was always reverting down to 422 which justifiably so pissed a lot of people off. So luckily for all LG C10 owners though, LG has taken it upon itself to get a firmware update out really fast for both the C9 and C10 that fixes the G-Sync compatibility problems with the RTX 3000 line and also fixes the Chroma 444 converting to 422 issue when using 4K 120 with high dynamic range. Both of those issues are now fixed and there is a firmware update available right now for you to update your LG C10 so that you can enjoy all of the proper benefits of your HDMI 2.1 C10 when hooked up to an RTX 3080, so you get 4K 120 444 HDR 10-bit. So if you wanna go and update this firmware for your C10 manually, because right now, as far as I understand it, there is no auto update um, through your TV available quite yet, unless you are in Korea. If you're anywhere else in the world and you tell your TV to search for an update, it won't find one because it's not gone live yet. So if you wanna download this file manually to update your C10 so that it is now compatible, fully compatible with the RTX 3000 line of GPUs and that it properly uses G-Sync and Chroma 444, you can do that. All you need is a USB stick. So you would go to this link right here and I will leave this Reddit link in the description below so you can find these links that I'm looking at right here. So if you want to install the new firmware update, here's the link to the firmware. You just click on this, it'll automatically install. Down here on this link is instructions specifically from LG on how to manually update the firmware on your television. It's a pretty easy process. I've done it before with my C10. So all you do is click on this and it has directions right here. So you'd wanna go down to manual firmware update on this page and it'll tell you step by step how to do it. It's really, really easy. All you need to do, like I said, is download the update. Then you wanna right click on the file that you've downloaded and then extract all. I usually just do it right on my desktop. Then in your USB stick, which will plug into your computer, you want to create, uh, so it says on the root of the USB drive, create a folder named LG underscore DTV. And then you would take the extracted file that you just extracted to your desktop and there's an EPK file in there, you would just take that and you would put it inside the LG underscore DTV folder on your USB stick, you're done. Take the USB stick out of your computer, stick it into the side of your TV, and you're pretty much good to go. So it says right here, insert the USB. So turn on the TV first, then insert the USB drive that you have prepared, follow the instructions on the TV, and that's it. You have updated your TV to the newest firmware version. If you have, like I said, an RTX 3080 or 3090, and you're having G-Sync compatibility issues and you're having Chroma issues, you will have them no more. It has been totally fixed. I don't, like I said, have an RTX card, so I can't test this myself, but according to Vincent from HDTV, he has tested this on a C10, and he has the RTX 3080, and he said it's completely fixed. No G-Sync issues and no Chroma issues. True to their word, LG has not only fixed the G-Sync incompatibility issues with the RTX 30 series cards on their C10 or CX OLEDs, but also the Chroma subsampling issue in PC mode at 120 hertz. There you go. So you heard it from Vincent right there who has tested this out himself. So I can say with certainty that this new firmware update for the C10 works. It fixes everything um, and from G-Sync compatibility issues to Chroma 444 at 4K 120 with HDR 10 bit. So anybody out there 
<clears throat> I won't list any names, but anybody out there who is trying to claim that you should not get an LG C10 for next gen consoles or to pair up with an RTX 3000 card because it doesn't have the full 48 gigabits of bandwidth and so it's not gonna work with 4K 124, 44 HDR 10 bit, that is complete and utter nonsense. The LG C10 has plenty of bandwidth, and as you can see here, all that was needed was a quick firmware update to iron out any kinks or any bugs. Um, like I said, anytime you have a new launch of a new GPU, there are going to be probably some software bugs or compatibility issues that need to be ironed out. LG did it in remarkable time. I mean, we've only had the RTX 3000 series cards for really a couple weeks now, so I think that LG did a patch. Uh, and did a workaround really, really quickly. So kudos to them for fixing it. And don't worry, go and get yourself an LG C10 for next-gen gaming uh, for the RTX 3000 series cards. You don't have to worry about not being able to do 4K 120 Chroma 444 in 10-bit with HDR because it's not full 40 gigabit bandwidth. You're fine. 40.1 gigabit bandwidth is all that is required to make sure that you can do 4K 120 444 HDR 10-bit. So you're all set. So with that said, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you have, please subscribe and we will see you guys soon. Later.